All right, I guess some of you don't like Game of Thrones, I guess, because it's a masterful depiction of creation. It's not the only thing, guys. I just threw on maybe like 10 minutes of The Dark Knight, the Dark Knight Rises. You know, like the, the Bane Batman movie. You know, we're, well, they're trying to work on free energy or nuclear energy for Gotham or whatever. It's about energy, guys. Batman is about energy, about creation. What is Batman? Batman is the Dark Knight, let's say. Batman comes around and does a whole bunch of work for free and helps out a bunch of people. Now, there's a secret. Who is the Batman? The beginning of The Dark Knight Rises, we go to uh, whatever his name, Joseph Lovett. What if, what's his face? And he sees through the invisible lines of bullshit, and he knows who the Batman is, and he goes to the Batman when he tells the his, his whatever, police guy about what the commissioner saw in the sewers, and that he gets laughed at. So he goes straight to Bruce Wayne because he's not fucking around. He's the Batman. He sees through the invisible lines of bullshit. And in the end of the movie, eventually this Joseph guy becomes the Batman. Meaning that the secret of free energy is transferred from one person to another person. And Batman goes off and retires. The knowledge is shared. It's all encoded, okay? It's all about fighting crime and bad guys and whatever. Usually money and power. And vengeance. <clears throat> because of something that happened in the past. Anyway. I've seen some numbers in Batman too, but whatever. I see numbers when I drive down the highway on the exits and they mean free energy in Ottawa. You know, believe what you want to believe about your 777. Believe what you want to believe about the Lamb of God. Believe what you want to believe about my ranting and ramblings about Austin Lee Meredith and the associations in my life. Believe what you want to believe about all my studies. I don't really care. But if you can't wake up to the signs and symbols that are hidden in plain sight all around you all the time, to me you're the walking dead. <laughs> so... Wow. The intellect on YouTube is rather sad. What? I, I don't even fucking care. <clears throat> because one must care about the Trinity. Okay? Now, I believe the Trinity is... Yourself... Those you love, and those you interact with. Let's just put them into friends, acquaintances, family. Because we're all strangers, okay? Your soul is from somewhere in the sky, guys. It doesn't matter who gave birth to you and who your parents are. The only one that can save you in your universe is you because you're the only one there. And when you pray to God, you're praying to yourself. Anyway. I thought that maybe sharing the knowledge and the numbers and applicating, applications of the numbers would be useful to some. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I went over a lot of symbolism in the Bible for you Bible people. You're going to be the hardest people to wake up. Because you're still waiting for some kind of magical savior to enter your universe and save you, which is impossible. Unless you make a V. And you know what making a V is? It's taking your universe, okay? Connecting with someone else's universe. Making a V. And if there's two people listening to the same transmission, guess what, guys? You're making an X. Because you're making a V here, and you're making a V there, 
and two V's make an X. And if you share, you make a bunch of L's. And if you share, you make a bunch of C's, D's, and M's. And eventually, V's with lines on top. And eventually, you know what's going to happen, guys? The V with the line on top, depicting 5,000, will be made of M's. Entirely made of M's. In a two-dimensional plane. And then you got to think of the Y and Z. It's a numbers game, guy. <clears throat> Slowing down time... You know, like everyone says, like feels like time is slowing down. All it means is that when you live and speak in truth about creation, about energy, you, it comes rather fast. Meaning, what I believe is going to happen in my near future is I'm going to become really productive or whatever it is I do. And things that used to take me a month to do, I'll be able to do in a couple of days, let's say. Okay. And if this information were to be spread to a team of individuals working collectively on the same thing, no matter what it is in the world, it could be computer software, it could be farming techniques, it could be anything. I believe that a team of individuals would be able to break down what they could do in a year into a couple months because of productivity, because of the architecture in which they create. Meaning everything you do matters and every step of your project no matter what it is there's always what do we need to do next what's the next thing to do what do we need what's going to impede us what's going to impede the progression of our project no matter if you're building a, a, a chicken coop or if you're putting in a, a spare bedroom attachment on your house or if you're cutting your grass a certain way or whatever you're going to see things differently you're going to see the world differently and it's really fun I see the symbolism signs everywhere. I'm just trying to share. It's Austin Lee Meredith, the Lamb of God guy. Because three makes four makes five. Lee is a three. Austin is a six. And Meredith is an eight. So I guess the six has to be circled to make a seven. And I guess the eight has to be circled to make a nine. To make a 369 code. It doesn't matter, guys. I don't care. I don't know why Austin Lee Meredith is spammed all across the Gematria website. It must mean something. This morning, I think it means the Lamb of God. Now, I don't know what you believe the Lamb of God means. Because I don't really know what it means. Because I haven't read the Bible and I don't really care <clears throat> it's just a sign and symbol popped out in my face this morning just like the 777 was the sign and symbol that popped out in my face last night and how it means one of seven of 13 of 110 which means i'm right but you don't care about that you don't care that the earth and armageddon are equivalent it's just understanding a different type of consciousness looking through the invisible lines of bullshit but you're very cozy living in your bullshit lives, thinking you're free, right? You don't want... There's nothing you can change to better yourself, right? You're perfect. You're not... Every one of us is Jesus, and every one of us is Satan. And we are a dual character in our own universe. And there's no one else there, guy. And it's a fight between the left and the right to achieve balance. And everyone on Earth right now is operating on Satan mode, is what I think. Because they can't see. The architects of society can see. They probably live their lives not in bullshit. That's why they get ahead, probably. But they sold out to a Freemason shell game where they try to get to be the 33-degree Freemason, which is actually a 38, which is an SS. Your Secret Service, the Nazi SS people who apparently were really bad, because an S and an S means a 38, which is a 33 circled five times which is the cell below a 20 circled four times, which is the epicenter of your hourglass of time, which in, expanded upon in four quadrants creates a double helix chain of your tribe of Dan DNA. And when you go one dimension above it, you just go to one node with 12 lines connecting it in an icosahedron. But this is all Greek to you. 
You don't want to invest the time to go over my material. You don't want to invest the faith or the, I don't know. You don't want to open up to a different point of view, probably. Some of you might, some of you might not. You've already conquered the universe and figured out balance. That's why your lives are so good, right? You're lying to yourself, Satan. <sighs> Asking for forgiveness is key to all the bad that you have done. You cannot change the past. You can only change the future because you have to live in the now. And someone laughed at me for that. Living in the now is awful lot like the NWO. And the New World Order just means you woken up. But you're already awake, right? And you believe in Jesus. I'm not saying don't believe in Jesus. I'm saying Jesus was a false prophet because he only taught you half the story. His message was corrupted by those in power. I'm sure that he figured out free energy back in the day and that was suppressed and then a story was created about energy in a book connected to religion and faith, which swept the land for many years. But all those people couldn't have been wrong, possibly. They could not have been deceived at all. I know, I know. I'm the only one that's wrong here, guys, obviously. So, anyways, I'm going to keep it short, I guess, because, you know, I don't want to waste any of your time. Cheers.